Hey everyone, so uh, I had a couple of people ask um, how to uh, change vehicles on this game. Um, so I decided just, um, I'm a better visual learner than you know learning from just seeing somebody talk about it online. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick video here quick on how to change vehicles. Um, and then also since I'll be here, change, um, be able to save vehicles that are damaged and then re load them later so uh, I got the screen up here I'm just gonna get this started and then I'll show all right so we got it loaded uh, excuse me so to change the car uh, well I guess first to pause it um, just hit that J button on the keyboard and then this there's this little radio button that will show up um, sometimes it'll be here in the middle um, I have mine set up to turn on over here. It all depends on how you get, get everything set up. Um, but uh, there's this wrench that says manage. Click that. Um, and then switching. So the cars are already on the track. You can switch places with different ones. But I mean that doesn't help you if there's a car not on the track that you want to use. So um, move over and there's this select button. Click that. And it opens up the... The whole entire selection um, and you guys might see something that you might not have I've had this and this um, that nothing really works on it not that I've been able to get able to work anyway so um, I'm gonna load up the blue buck this is one, my probably my favorite one um, and as you can see there's the RDP there's the stock there's the limited weld so just kind of pick wherever ones you see that you want to use so this is my prime one I always use this will go and that you guys see. so yeah there's there it is in all its shiny glory um, and then to switch vehicles so if you want to switch other vehicles as well um, to move the different vehicles just hit the tab uh, let's get rid of this p pink wagon here so again hit the escape and that radio button shows up the wrench the select and then let's put one of these ones in here uh, let's go with that one and then on the bottom here replace current and then that will so now that we change them out let's do a little bit of damage and save it and reload some damage on this car If I can get some damage here. There we go. Rear end shot. Very nice. Now we're stuck. Lovely. Trying to get a little bit more damage so you can actually see a little bit better. Make sure it works. Without getting stuck in there, I get stuck again. Maybe. Alright, well I guess that's the best it's going to get. So I'll pause it here. And then, so pause it, and then hit the escape button again. And then on that radio button, there's the save. So I hit the save. Uh, let me reset here. Maybe i got to be unpaused to do this. I'm trying to get someplace else. Not where I wanted to be. Alright. So, as you see, fresh car, completely fresh. So, hit the escape, and then right next to the save, there's the load. Um, once you unpause it, and there you are. Here's your your damaged vehicle. Um, unfortunately, it saves it just the way it is. So, if you break steering or uh, you know, anything like that, broken 
broken tires off the car it's going to save the exact format so you won't be able to fix steering or anything like that but um but yeah that'll at least there we are you know you can change your vehicles and save them and load them into another game and you know it doesn't have to be this specific one um you can save it some you know at the there's a kind of obstacle grid map where i've done a little bit of experimenting with ramps to get the rear ends the pre-bend and then i saved it from there and then loaded it in here so <laughs> it's just yeah just kind of give everyone the general idea of how to get this done so all right well thanks for watching and uh i look forward to seeing all you guys watching next time